Hi, I'm Wayne with Adaptive Technologies and today I'm going to show you how to install the TPX motorcycle radar and laser detection system. What I have here is I have the TPX system. We have the main console here. It comes with the wiring harness. We also have the optional visual alert, optional wireless headset, and a mount. So, I'm going to get things started. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the wiring harness and install the wiring harness. Now the wiring harness connects directly to your vehicle's battery so what we need to do is to locate your vehicle's battery. Now most batteries are located underneath the seat such as the case with this bike. I have already removed the screws that hold down the bike seat so here is the battery. Now I'm going to Get my tools here real quick. All right. Now with the wiring harness, you'll notice that on one end it's got a DIN jack plug. This plugs into the main console. And on the other end you have a few uh, tentacles. We have a positive cable which is indicated by the positive mark and a negative cable. This will go directly to the battery's terminals. And we have three other plugs. Um, the yellow one here is to go with the visual alert and it's color coded. I'll show you that later. We also have an audio out plug and this is to plug uh, into other audio sound systems. So for example, if you have a sound system set up on your bike already, you can just integrate the TPX system into your existing sound system. And the last plug is for a la rear laser detector that we'll be introducing uh, later on this year. So now I'm going to connect the power cables onto the battery. Black negative goes to the negative terminal. Red positive connects to the positive terminal. Alright, and this part is done. Now I am going to thread the other end to the front of the bike because that's where the main console is going to be. Now, you have two ways of doing this. You can remove the tank, or you can do the lazy man's way, which is what I'm going to do right now, is to thread this underneath the tank to the front. And to do so, what I've done here is I've made a little hooking device just out of a steel coat hanger. And I'm just going to thread this all the way through, and this, this will probably be the most time-consuming process.
right. That's why I need smaller fingers. Said that will probably be the most time consuming process. Now, I want to give it some slack. I'm going to mount the TPX main console right here, so I'm going to give it. I think this will probably be good enough. Now, the next step is I'm going to mount the or fix the visual alert. Visual alert out of the box. Okay, and same thing. I'm going to thread the cable underneath the tank to the front. Now, what we have here is we provide you with the double sided tape. I'm going to put it on top of the instrument cluster. Um, depending on the bike that you have, you may also uh, affix the visual alert onto your handlebar. So, but to remove the peel on one side. Okay. And dead center, it's about 6,500 RPM mark on the tag. So, I'm to place it right about 6,500. Press it down a little bit. It's a little cold right now, so it's a little hard for this thing to set. Press it down. And right. Now the visual alert is on the bike. Now threading the cable. So I want the cable to come out through the front, so I'm going to thread it through here. And again. Alright, that will 